Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. This is a Center of Excellence based showcase. It is with a Spacing Guild member who is married to Lord Markov, who I also did a um, COE video with. Her name is Knight Elise. You there? Hello. Hi. So I've already put her address in. I'm going to go through the portal to her planet. Uh, her, her center of excellence portal address is already up on our website. So if you go to the Spacing Guild website, go to centers of excellence, and go to Knight Elise's, then you can find the portal address for it. I still don't put the portal addresses on the videos to try to uh, discourage people from setting their base in the star system of a center of excellence. So if you look up, if you look up the, um, yeah, if you look up um, a center of excellence address, it always has a warning that tells you not to um, build your base there so it doesn't mess it up so that other people can't visit. So her base is about five minutes from the portal. I didn't prepare and I don't have the marrow bulbs to make a vehicle, so I'm gonna walk there. But on the way there, do you wanna tell us what your base is like, Elise? Yes, it is a frost, frost crystal garden uh, with um, 5,200 frost crystals yield. Um, there's also a cacti garden on the uh, second level of my base, which is uh, um, yields 5,200 cacti flesh. Um, there are also star bulbs um, and making for three acids. Nice. Um, my planet has uh, vortex cubes that are sentinel free because uh, they're near uh, caves oh good um let's see what else the temperatures are not extreme here uh, the sentinels are limited so they're it, i don't ever have any trouble with them unless i'm you know mining excessively cool So you could make like living. Wait, do do you? Glass. You don't, you I don't make, have the stuff for the living glass. I have. Uh, you can make twenty-one glass um, from the one round of frost crystal garden yield. Um, with the cacti, it will make twenty-six uh, unstable gels. Um, or you can uh, add some of those cacti, use some of that with the star bulbs. Um, and to make polyfiber? Polyfibers, yep. Yeah. You can make two of those. Um, I have enough star bulbs for two of them. Um, but yeah, I tend to uh, make the liquid explosives and, and sell them for money, so... Um, I, I tend to be the, the fungi and mordite and cacti <laughs> nice. focus. But I wanted to do a frost crystal farm because I remember watching my husband um, have to hunt and hunt for frost crystals. Cool. Would you like to make a monument or would you rather save it for your husband? No, we could make a monument. That would be okay. Great. Right here? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I'll let you give me the tour All right. of the base. Circling the base are rings of frost crystals. And if I end up deleting some of my storage units, I can probably fill in more of that as well. 
yeah, I always I always put my storage in my freighter since they aren't like useful to other people or anything. I usually do, but when I was building this, it was really helpful to have them right there. Yeah. It'd be cool if people uh, could use them to access their own storage or something, but oh yeah, it would probably be hard to program. I have a terminal here at the base next to the portal. All right, the first, uh, the the second floor um, has four domes of cacti, thirteen in each, so uh, fifty-two. Nice. Cacti plants. The third floor, or technically nope. the fourth floor, <laughs> um, has the three domes for making acid. And I added some extra star bulbs, um, some star brambles in there. Cool. And then. The next floor has some extra mordite, because I had trouble getting that um, early on. Didn't kill too many creatures, so other than that, it was really hard to, you know, get enough. Yep. So I added some extra there, and then up at the top here is uh, more star brambles. Whoops. Ah, I fell off your ladder. That's <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's easier just to fly up from that. Yeah. Other. So I think you said earlier that you were planning to make some solanium. Yeah, if I when I um, take my storage units away and uh, place them on my freighter, I'm gonna try to put and uh, build another dome and put solanium in there too. Yeah, then they'd be able to make um, uh, heat capacitors. Yeah, heat capacitors with the frost yep. crystals. Yep. Nice. That's a very nice looking, in addition to the base, um, in addition to the farm, I mean, it also is is very a aesthetically pleasing to look at. It's a pretty neat base. Thank you. I'm going to go put my stamp of approval column station here. There we go. So that is Knight Elisa's Center of Excellence. You can visit to take advantage of the resources she has planted. Like she said, she also has vortex cubes that are in caves so they don't attract sentinels. So if you want to farm those for fun to make some more money, you can also do that. It's a pretty cool looking planet because it's got um, like rivers that are deep enough to have the kelp sacks. So there's a lot of different resources you can collect here in addition to what she has at her base. So thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the future.